Alert! 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 So, if you hadn't heard, ever since I got back from New York City, I've been trying to watch all 67 episodes of Game of Thrones in an effort to catch up and do a reaction for you guys. I need to take a moment to point out that in all this catching up and posting about it online and having the story time and everything, nobody at all posted any spoilers. And that's kind of unreal in this digital age, so big clap for you guys. That probably looked condescending, but it wasn't meant to be. I'm actually genuinely impressed. So where did the idea come from that I was going to watch all 67 episodes? Well, while I was in New York, Lenny kept going on and on and on and quoting Game of Thrones. I had tried to watch it before by myself, but I found it just a bit too confusing and I didn't get into it. So I attempted my first couple of episodes with Lenny, and here's how I got on. What do I know about Game of Thrones? I know... I know there's a creepy child king who's bad. I know there's a girl with blonde hair who flies on a dragon. I think she's the hero of the whole thing. I know there's an especially lot of characters. I've been keeping a chart. You have three weeks to get to me. I can do this. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, 67 hours sounds very little when you just put it in a title. It's 67 hours. So here's how I got on. Okay, I just finished season one and uh, Ned Stark died. Did you know that Ned Stark died? He seemed like an important character, the protagonist you might say. So I guess it's a bit like The Walking Dead, but hopefully it doesn't get terrible. Ugh. It's just annoying. I was starting to like him and he's one of the few characters whose names I actually know. Also, I want a baby dragon. Yeah, I was starting to like that kind of rapey guy that Daenerys married, but now he's dead, so, you know. Never trust a witch. Daenerys' brother got what was coming to him. He got a big load of gold over his head. Um, that's gotta hurt. But also, I couldn't help but think about how it would make a really cool, like, piece of art when you took it off like papier mache but like gold okay season two i'm starting to feel there's a lot of incest in this show um first there was jamie and cersei and now um now theon is like doing things to his sister on a horse i'm starting to love Tyrion. he's so cool i don't know what's going on with that red witch one um something came out of her the magic thing has taken me by surprise. I didn't know, I knew there was dragons, but I didn't know there was gonna be like, Ooh. it's very like Harry Potter, but like Harry Potter after dark. I love the hound. I love him so much. He's actually like, he's been through a lot of stuff, but um, I think ultimately he's a good person, apart from killing that little boy that was friends with Arya. But like he rescued Sansa and oh my God, like Sansa, I feel so bad for her. Joffrey. How annoying is Joffrey? Oh my god, we hate him so much. I actually went to drama school with Joffrey, but um, he's very good at acting like a dick. I'm totally shipping Brienne of Toth and Jaime Lannister. I think they would be great together. I also like every time she comes on the screen, she says Brienne of Toth. Arya's got some mad shiz happening with some guy who kills everybody like that. And also wildfire. Like, I can imagine that's going to be well underused in the next couple of seasons. I can see myself being like, why don't you just use wildfire? And then they don't use wildfire. But maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. <sighs> so I just finished season three. Jamie lost his hand. Oh my god. That was so shocking. I don't know what is going on with Bran, Bren, or whatever his name is. Like, with his eye rolly thing, he's all like... <laughs> Theon is just gone completely off the wall, but maybe he's about to get his comeuppance because, I mean, he did some bad stuff. But that little creepy fella, I don't know about him, Bolton. Is that his name? Ugh creepy and i finally got to hear somebody say you know nothing Jon snow but i actually always thought it was Arya who said it so um apparently it's not not so sure about marjorie she's just a little too good to be true isn't she nobody likes a goody two-shoes her granny i think it's her granny anyway she is so cool i love her granny so much i'm starting to like jamie a little bit i'm not gonna lie i didn't think i would but you know i do and the red wedding what the hell i had heard about the red wedding but yeah there go like loads of the starks they're all just gone it seemed unnecessary but um yeah season four everybody died everybody died Perhaps the most depressing season yet. The only bit that I did like was when Sam finally manned up. He snogged his bird in the face. I was like, come on, Sam. Yes, let's do it. So yeah, I'm shipping that stuff. I don't know. I thought they were boring characters initially, but now I really like them. I'm like really rooting for Sam. So yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to be honest about this season. Like, a lot of stuff happened, but it wasn't my favourite season. Danny got to ride on a dragon. That was cool. Jon Snow died! Like, he died. I have a funny feeling they're going to bring him back. You can only do that with one character, though, right? Um, yeah. Poor Sansa. That was not everything she dreamed of on her wedding night. Mm. Shireen got killed, the little girl! Tyrion is now working for Daenerys, which is like, what? They're creepy little couple though. I don't like them. Marjorie and Tommen. More people died! Arya's going around killing people now, which is kind of cool. I like that side of Arya. Um, I'm glad, I'm glad she got good stuff to do. Killing people is always interesting. Oh, and then there was shame, shame. Shame, 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 shame. Okay, I had to binge watch six and seven together because I got kind of behind. Um, Jon Snow is alive, so that's cool. Daenerys is apparently immune to fire or something to that effect. People are getting nude a lot less too, so I guess this was maybe around the time um, some of the Hollywood controversy was happening. There's still a lot of nudity, but not as much. Hodor. Hodor, I, oh, I can't, I knew I hated that creepy little Bolton fella, anyway, he got his face eaten off by a load of hounds, so that was good, you know, Cersei just killed everyone, she just killed basically everyone, she just killed like a load of people, um, but then Tom and face planted out the window, so, you know, karma? Melisandre is not the age that she looks, but that's what Botox will do for you boys and girls, you know. Uh, Ed Sheeran, that was stupid. Um, John apparently is the next king, because his father's not who we think his father is, so I'm sure that'll come into play at some point. The wall is gone! The wall is gone! The dragon came back and he he's dead now, and he... Cersei is preggers and uh, her and Tyrion and Jaime got together again and they all just hate each other and like I'm so over that I'm just like oh would you just get over it like but yeah Gendry's back Gendry from Skins I don't know what his name is in real life but I love him and uh, yeah I have a funny feeling he's going to be like huge in season 8 the friend zone guy who's in love with Daenerys he got all his his illness cut off him um, but like surely somebody thought of that before to cut it off. Also, it looked really sore. Ow. Littlefinger's dead. He's been deadified. All the big players from all the places came together in a big circle and it was really, really cool. And one of them was super annoying and Cersei eventually caved, but did she? There's that whole thing, so that's pretty much where we're at. So now it's 2 a.m. Irish time. I'm absolutely exhausted, but this is supposed to start in the next couple of minutes and I'm gonna watch it with you guys, I guess. I can't tell you how much that song has been going through my head for the last couple of days. Okay, there's there's the lads. There's Arya. Who's that kid? Okay, it turns out he's completely inconsequential, so. I love these two. They're really good comic relief. My favourite episodes are the ones where there's like funny bits and serious bits, because I hate when it's all just serious bits. Dark humour, it works. I love those two. I bet one of them dies soon. Stay at that coat, though. No. No. Ah, the Starks are getting reunited. How nice. Bren, no, just no. That's a bit of an icy reception. Get it? An icy rece- never mind. She knows about the dragon. Oh, that's so sad. I don't know. Maybe she can make him nice again. Not that he was ever nice. He's a dragon. What are you talking about, Dan? I don't know. I love that kid. She's a madzer and I love her. Do you know what? Sansa is probably the character who has grown on me the most. Apart from Jamie, I mean, they've all changed a bit, but Sansa, I thought at the beginning, was really weak. And they're very lucky because she's grown up to be a fantastic actress, much like Maisie Williams, who plays Arya. Oh, yay! That's nice. God, they love each other. I always cry at stupid TV stuff. Real life, I've a heart of rock. I keep thinking that's Joshua Jackson. If you don't know who Joshua Jackson is, it's Pacey from Dawson's Creek. And I can't help thinking that would have been a really good casting choice if they can't. Not that this guy isn't great. He's great. I don't know who he is. But wouldn't it be funny if Pacey was the really bad guy? I don't want to wait. And he doesn't want to wait. And that's the funny part. Girl! That costume though. Cersei's costume game has stepped up a notch. I love her. She is fierce. Yes, she's a little bit evil, but we're okay with it because she looks amazing, you know? Also, little point, nobody's hair grows in... In, in Westeros. They get older, but their hair doesn't grow. 
Oh, no, man. That's your sister. Or, not your sister. It's your cousin. What is it? Your niece? I don't know anymore. I don't ship them, by the way, at all. I, I just, they're a boring couple. Oh, no, mate. That's your sister. Oh, no, it's his niece. Yeah. So awkward. How would you even tell him? Like, killed your dad. So sorry. Not really sorry. Like, he deserved it, but yeah. Oh, and by the way, you killed your brother as well. My bad. I hate when you're trying to break bad news to somebody. Not like that. I haven't killed anybody's, like, family or anything. Just their close friends. <gasps> He's telling him, oh. I mean, he could have broken it to him a bit nicer, couldn't he? Like, a bit, like, a bit sounder. I mean, like, you do just have to tell him at the end of the day, really, don't you? His whole world is just falling apart. Now he knows that was his auntie. Ugh. Stay back, he's got blue eyes! I've always had blue eyes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've always had blue eyes. Yeah, back. I love those little bits when there's just little funny bits. We get there before the day. <gasps> oh, he's alive! He's alive! He's, well, he's dead! Wow! Go. Is that a swastika? No. Oh, I thought they'd all go up or they'd all start moving. But they didn't. That would have been cool. Jamie changed his hair again. Jeez, for somebody in war and all that, he certainly has time to do some major male grooming. Oh. 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 Oh, and he knows now. He knows that he pushed him out the window. Oh my God. Beef, 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 beef. God, he just stares with just such absence, doesn't he? I mean, I guess it's good. <gasps> That's the end of it. I thought it was gonna be a really long episode, but okay. So that brings me to three o'clock Irish time. I'm super tired. Uh. But I think it was worth it. We got there in the end, didn't we? Having binge watched the 67 episodes, it seems almost anticlimactic to just get to watch one episode, but that's the way this was always going to work. If you did like this video, bearing in mind I put a lot of hours into doing it, please do subscribe or share with a friend or thumbs up the video or, you know, don't if you don't want to. That's how these things work. Big shout out to the Patreon Karmic Goals crew. You'll find their names in the description. And if you see them in comments, say hi, because we've got a really nice little community going on here. Feel free to engage with one another in a respectful way. And I will see you guys later in the week. I can't think straight. I need to go to bed. Bye. I had vastly underestimated how many hours 67 hours is it. Get through the sleep here, because it's three in the morning. It's a sleeping baby. He was asleep and I woke him up. Sorry. Okay, I had to watch binge. Oh. Do, 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 do.